Earl Spence Jr., Derrick James. Word around the mill is that they've had a split out in Texas. Errol Smith Jr. going his own way. Uh, we don't know who he's going to pick up yet. Uh, what do you think? Uh, how do you think that shakes up the welterweight division? Or the yeah, super that's welterweight division? that's uh, that's that's actually news that uh, that I I wouldn't I wouldn't I would have never thought we would see it. You know, they they've been there so they they've done so many the great things together. They've accomplished so much together I, I would I would have thought that's a team that we wouldn't see split up uh, it did it did surprise me uh, you know one bad performance one loss shouldn't be the decision to leave your trainer like that uh, but only they know why honestly I have no you know I you know there's I rumors there's rumors about that potentially there's maybe a payment issue. I don't know, they're saying that maybe Earl Spence didn't pay wow. Derrick James. I'm not sure if that exactly is it. It just sounds unfortunate, whatever it may be. Well, it's unfortunate, you know, fighters and, and trainers, managers, they have to go through that. Uh, me personally, I'm a trainer. I also manage some fighters. So so if if if, if, if I get one of my fighters, you know, from, from, from early in their career, when they're, they're still not, making a lot of money but I'm there with them and we together we make it you know through six eight ten rounds then he, he becomes champion we become champions because it's a team I think I think it's it's not right for a fighter to try to to cut the trainers pay because he's making a huge amount of money uh, you know, you guys made it together. You guys you come up together. You guys came up together. He was also making pretty much no money early in your career when you were fighting four, six, eight rounders. We don't make money when, when you know. Most of the times, you know, with those, you know, six, eight rounders, you know, why would we want to pick up three, four hundred dollars from our fighter when he could use a little bit more? You know, but when it comes to three, four million dollars. Shit, we deserve our percentage, man. You know, instead of cutting their instead of cutting their their pay, give him a bonus. He made he, he got you there. You guys got there together, and it was him also that made you made you what you are now. You know, there's other cases also. Obviously, when 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 you're working with a fighter where that calls you for one fight, you know he's already making uh, millions of dollars. Then obviously, yeah, you work something out. You're not gonna cut him a 10% because because you know he wasn't there you know he's just somebody you're hiring for a one fight thing maybe could work continue working together then you could work out a deal where okay I'm only gonna give you a certain percentage or or, or, or a flat fee then the trainer decides if he wants to do it but when you have somebody that's been with you since the beginning since your early early days and together you guys made it that trainer deserves that 10% even bonuses after after those fights. I'm telling you, you know, it's just the way boxing is, man. I, I think the trainer is there with you most of the time, every day in the gym. Uh, goes delve, in, a delve into it a little bit for us, coach, um, because everybody sees the glamorous portions of boxing with these huge purses, but we don't really get to see the meat and potatoes of the fight game and the sacrifices that coaches are making at those levels when before guys get to those eight and ten round fights. What is that experience like with guys on the come up? Man, you know what? That, that's that's what that's what I'm trying to say. You know, when when you have when you have a bunch of you know guys that are very talented but are only fighting four rounds. You know, if, if you're signed to a good promoter, then you know you're you're maybe getting a thousand dollars a round because. Other, you know, they'll give you a couple hundred around. You know what I mean? But if you're signed to a good promoter, you know, pretty much, you know, you you'll be guaranteed at least a thousand dollars per round. You know, on a four-round fight, you know, a trainer normally gets a ten percent. So sometimes most of the trainers, we don't even take that those four hundred dollars because mm -hmm. the fighter could use it a little bit, you know, trying to keep them happy. But if you're doing stuff like that, you know, where you're traveling, you're spending money on, on, on gas, to the gym every day, uh, food, uh, month, time away from your family, at an early uh, age of your career, when you're four, six, eight rounds, there's not a lot of money there, man. You're losing money. Come the day where you make it, and you make, wow, we all made it together. I think it's, it's only fair for a fighter to, to take his, his cut, and, and the, the, the boxers should not, you know, 
pay them less, especially if they started together. Appreciate that insight, Coach. Thank you so much for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV, and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.